Hello and welcome back to the Lonely Man podcast. The host of this podcast is me, Oliver, uh, the Lonely Man, the only man, uh, and I'm the only one here, as always, uh, yet to find a guest for this. Um, mostly because I haven't asked anyone, also because I'm lazy. I'm going to admit it right now, I haven't asked anyone, I haven't gone out of my way to get anyone. I have spoken to one person. Uh, and I will maybe do that with them at some point, but I haven't actually confirmed anything, and I wouldn't know what to talk about, because I natter. And yes, I could natter with someone quite easily, but I haven't, um, I haven't thought of what to natter with another person. Uh, and I haven't thought how to record it, because currently, the way I do this is I film my face with my camera, and then I film my audio with my... This is going to be bad for the audio. My Yeti microphone. Try and place it roughly back where it was. Um, so that's sort of how we do it. And I use two different softwares. So unless I got someone in, they would either have to just be an audio ghost and just be sort of whirling around me. Um, or they would have to have a camera as well. And then I would film both my perspective like I do here and they would do the same thing on their end, and then together I would fuse them in my editing software. Cool, right? Cool that I've thought that through live. We're doing this live. Uh, talking of doing this live, it is Wednesday the 9th today. My upload day is... Uh, it should be Wednesday the 9th, yeah. Not prepared. I'm not prepared for any of this. Uh, it's also 4 o'clock in the afternoon. What a beautiful day it is outside, but once again, because I've done zero prep, I'm back here, and I'm looking at how wonderful it is outside. Someone was trimming their hedge earlier, so I couldn't film any earlier than this, but we're at it again. Um, I've got more plans. I think I'm going to stay inside longer after this, because I'm going to film a, a, a gaming video as well for this channel, but more, more on that maybe later. For now, today's topic, I don't know why I keep looking outside now, it's so tantalising, it's just blue. Can I, can I do this professionally? Ooh. Can we see out the window? We can't. And it's ruined the entire podcast. Great. For anyone uh, just listening, I turned the camera to my window, to which all there was was white. Lovely. Um, it does look great out there. Trust me. Oh, do you know what? Here we go. Here we go. I'll I'll put this in. Beautiful. I'll put that photo in, and you'll be able to see that here. Look at how blue. Anyway, talking about editing, actually, my last video was one that I spent quite a bit of time editing, and I spent uh, well, I say quite a bit of money. I spent like seventeen quid on. We're going to go right to the end of this podcast where we normally talk about performance of other videos and we'll talk about this one real quick. So it's gotten four videos. It's been a week because of course I upload on Wednesday and I'm filming on Wednesday. Uh, it's been a week. It's only had four views. I'm not uber mad at that because and a lot of people would look at that and they would look at my other content and they'd be like, oh, but the first one got 15 and the second one got 10, but this one got four. And I initially thought that and I was like, Oh, I spent time on this one, and I actually, one, I got something to do in the video, and two, I actually spent time adding in all those stars, which took a long time to do, and I added in the heart around my face and some funny audio, but it's fine. It's fine, because if I look at my engagement tab, we got 15 minutes worth of average duration, which normally... Uh, it's like 10 minutes, 14 seconds more than normal. So that means our average duration is normally five minutes. So that's pretty goddamn good, I would say. Um, we had a really good time with that one. I'm happy. Four views, but average of 14 minutes. So that means most people watched uh, average of 15 minutes. That means four people together watched about an hour's worth of my content. I can't be mad at that. That's pretty good. Um, I'm hoping, though... We can start to keep that engagement and pump those numbers a little bit, but we'll see. But anyway, today's topic is a little bit different. Uh, some would call it unprepared, but I'm calling it 
different. We're going to talk about me. And we're going to talk a little bit more about me. And I'm going to kind of just pretend like none of you have watched any of my previous videos. Um, and I'm going to sort of just talk about me a little bit and explain the sort of person that I am. And just talk about me in general as like the host of this show. Because I feel like it would be nice so that you guys know a little bit more about me. So, I'm going to see how much information I feel okay with sharing in my head before slowly deluxing myself. So, my name's Ollie, uh, or Oliver. My actual name is Oliver. Uh, you can call me Ollie, or whatever you want to call me. It's very obvious that that's my name. It is the channel name, Oliver Deschamps. Uh, Deschamps is a French name. My father, who comments on these videos very regularly. Oh, talking about the end of the video, normally we also we, uh, we say thank you and hello to the people who commented. Let's quickly do that. Because I've sort of gone to the end. So let's quickly do that at the start again. Because we've sort of swapped it around. So we got, of course, one from my father. Uh, and he says, nice one. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, mark. And then we got one from Ready Made Lobotomy. Who said, what flavour is this? It's mad they don't tell me. Laughing face, laughing face. Ollie 2 k 21 Yeah, that was about the, like, sour Jolly Ranchers. I just didn't know what the blue flavour was. Madness, but thank you both for dropping a comment. It means a lot to me and to be fair We also did get three likes out of those four views, so I'm very happy with that. Sorry I just want to talk about it I feel like it's great to appreciate you guys for viewing and actually like engaging with the content. But anyway back to me um, So that's my channel name Oliver Deschamps. Uh, Deschamps is a French name as I said and of course my father is French um, As you can see from his username uh, his username is weirdly just his name like me we're so similar. We very much look the same as well. Um, I won't include any photos today. I was considering doing it, but I feel like we're going to leave photos out and we'll slowly dive into my family more within some of the some of the uh, vlogs and stuff that I will slowly do. Um, I have actually started preparing a vlog. I went over to an arcade the other day uh, with my girlfriend and a couple friends and we went and did some arcade games, some pool. We didn't do any bowling this time, but I did go the day before or so and I did some bowling with her, which was nice. So um, I'm slowly trying to sort of organize myself and get more into the routine of filming these things as I go out more because London is becoming a little bit safer to do things in. Fun fact, going back to talking about me, I live in London. Uh, currently I'm in London. so. I am originally from Devon. Well, originally I was born in Salisbury, which is kind of near London, in the middle-ish between London and Devon. I then moved to Devon when I was younger, and now I'm in London, which I moved to four years ago, I believe now. Uh, I moved up here for university, so um, I went to, I'm going to say, I went to Middlesex University. I feel like that's not uncommon knowledge based on my old videos but it could be um so i i basically yeah so we'll go into a little bit of that we did so education wise i of course done a levels and stuff and i've been into engineering basically so i did a, a btec in engineering which was good fun um which then led me to wanting to do robotics i've actually wanted to do robotics since i did my work experience which i did at plymouth university i did my work experience at plymouth university and it was probably, it was the greatest week I've ever had. I got to take apart some of their like um, competition robots because they have a couple for like uh, robot football and stuff. So I got to take apart a couple of those and rebuild them a little bit because they were upgrading them. I got to do some other fun projects and stuff and it was great fun. And I think what when you do work experience, you're like year eight or nine maybe. So I'm like 14 ish maybe I don't know around that age and I fell in love with the idea of it it was something that I liked the idea of anyway a little bit which is why of course I went to a university for work experience pretty rogue um, most people go to jobs and they have fun and they get free stuff I did get free stuff actually um, but it could be literally oh wait no 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 there it is I actually got to keep one of their one of their robots heads <laughs> um, I got given this as like a, a little sort of commemorative thing I got given a couple other things but this is quite cool they had like a, a blackout visor here with a camera in the center um, and that was its eyes and it was a really cool little thing to give away um, I was very happy with that and I've kept that the entire time 
which is which is old now. That's really old. Um, it's doing well. <laughs> but I um yeah, so I did that and it was really good fun. So from there I was sort of locked in. Um, and I went and did a, a BTEC in engineering, which just set me up so well for my first year at Middlesex. So I basically I moved up to London. Um, about four years ago, as I said, and I started studying at Middlesex. Um, and I did my, of course, bachelor's degree in robotics, which was insanely cool. I got to do so much, like I think a couple of the things that I did in third year are filmed and on my channel. Um, and that was such a really good fun and a great experience to do. And I still love robotics engineering and it's something I'm still pursuing. Very hard to get a job in right now because the COVID, simply. Um, I've really struggled to get a position. I've messaged a couple places. I have been looking very London centric, um, but I think I'm going to slowly start to broaden my horizons on that because I think it's not possible for me to look in such a refined area for such a um, unique job. Robotics engineer isn't like the most common job. It's not like um, general engineer in a sense. It's very special. Uh, specified, spec specified, specific, specific, very specific. Oh, I'm losing my tongue. It's fine. Um, and yeah, so I'm sort of currently, that's sort of where I am with life in a sense. Um, I'm basically looking for a graduate role and doing this really. I absolutely love this. I've always, the, the only other job that I've wanted to do besides being uh, an engineer would be to be an entertainer. I think I'm a very big personality person and I think it's a it's a really fun thing to do um, I enjoy doing this while like probably my least fun part is the editing because if you want it to look cool and fun it takes time like the last video probably took me nearing like an hour and a bit maybe hour and a half to sort of get it all done which like a lot of people will look at me like really an hour and a half to do all of that I'm not in any ways a professional editor it probably could have taken someone a lot less time than me but because of that it took me a bit longer and I had to work a bit harder on it um, it's something that I'm getting better at obviously but it's not something that I can see myself becoming great at the hope would be that I can start to make money from this and then with that money I can start to go hey person would you like to edit my stuff for me and they'll go oh my god yes I'd love to edit your stuff for money and I'll go that's fine I get money from this now and that would be the exchange basically uh, I'm tempted at some point to maybe do a little bit of a fun challenge where I basically get a Fiverr editor to edit my um one of my videos I think it'd be really interesting to see how someone edited my video and um, just sort of like give them a bit of credit and stuff. So that might be something that I'll start doing when I do the, the gaming videos. Which of course we are filming and recording today. Uh, I'm basically going to just start playing through Minecraft. Vanilla Minecraft but with the new update. Um, I imagine it's going to be so many people doing that. But it's something I enjoy doing. And it's something that I will do on here because why not. Um, but yeah so I'd like to get someone to edit for me at some point. It would be very nice not to have to, just to be able to send clips to someone and send like, or like loads of a video and be like, can you edit this please? And they'd be like, yeah, sure. So either they send me the video back or they just upload it straight away. And that would be a very nice system for me. But for now, it's very much just, I will be now finishing recording this around about 4.30. I will then edit it because I'm not gonna do anything fancy on this video other than add in the picture. Um, I will probably only take about 10 15 minutes to edit it because I'll need to take in all the audio, take in the footage, sync everything up because I do a big one, two, three thing, uh, and then I will basically put that picture in in the right time stamp for the right amount of time and then um, export it. And all of that time takes about 10 15 minutes. It won't be too long, then I'll upload it, which will take maybe another half an hour, and then once it's uploaded, it should be out before six, which is kind of what I was aiming for anyway, which is perfect. Um, I do need to make the thumbnail, but again, the thumbnail has not changed. I'll give you a, a surprise about the thumbnail. I have just been importing the same image into Paint 3D that I made in Paint 3D the first time. I've then put a white square around the number and whited it out, 
and then just put a new number in and lined it up appropriately. And that is why the image is exactly the same going on. Uh, and I will do that again because so far I don't know what I want to do with the image. If I can get some way to make a, to get maybe a different image or a better image, it might be nice um, just to be able to get something that's maybe a bit more professional because currently, of course, right now it is a, a black square with a white circle and text in it. But I kind of thought it was nice because in my head it's the Lonely Man podcast so it's just like one thing in the centre. Um, but it might be nice to get some um, some new graphics eventually. Because I used to do some good thumbnails. I'm looking, I'm looking at them right now. Some of them were alright. Some of them of course are literally just clips of the video with like a little OD in the corner. Others, are, I liked the OD in the corner to be fair. I kind of liked that. Um, I might start putting that in the corner of the the Lonely Man podcast. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. If the if the thing has an OD in the corner, that means it looked good when I tried it, and it's now happening. Um, but for now, we'll sort of just keep going with it. But yeah, I sort of I stopped doing some ODs at one uh, some like any sort of uh, picture at one point at uh, thumbnail, and now I'm gonna start to get back to doing them. I've got to start doing them for the gaming videos as well, and I'm hoping with the increase in content, I might slowly start to see some real progress on this channel. But for now, I think we're making we're making nice little, uh, I don't know why I'm jiggling so much, I'm just wobbling around. Um, we're making some really nice progress, and we're really sort of just like chugging along, which is nice. It's nice to see the, the channel doing as well as it is. Um, going back to me though, Christ, this is such a, eclectic and very unorganized podcast um <laughs> but that's so me and that's so this podcast so i really don't mind i think a lot of people might like cut out and change things like this but for me it's just like this is what i wanted the podcast to be it's literally me rambling for half an hour and then go from there sort of thing i'm sure when i have to have guests and stuff uh, it'll change a little bit and like there may be bits cut out and cut in and stuff. But for now, when it's just me, I really don't mind. It's very fun just being so free and just easily talking. Um, what was I saying anyway? So yeah, that's sort of where I am in life right now. Just sort of looking, I'll be moving soon. So this background, which my father points out as very horrible because I never tidy this desk. Um, it's just got two, two mugs on it right now. It's not the worst, the bed's made. Um, I don't know, like, the thing is, he was like, oh, you should do more with your background. There's not a huge amount I can do with it. I I'm renting this place, and I'm moving out. So, like, yeah, the ironing board's there. I keep going the wrong way. The ironing board is there, sure, but, like, <sighs> I could move it every time, yeah, and I could move it to where, like, the shoes are. There's, like, a still loads of wool this way, and you wouldn't see it. But, like, you'd still see the desk and stuff, and I'm not moving everything every time. Because if I moved it all, it would just be a, a white wall. It's not anything, like, interesting. Um, I just, like, I can't do anything interesting. Um, so I might start... Maybe I get a green screen at some point. But I currently don't have the space behind me to install a green screen and pull it up. So I would need a little bit more space, but... That's uh, definitely something I'll look into when I move, because I think I'll probably, within the next year, I think my aim is to try and move twice. I think, which sounds weird. Most people will be like, I just want to move once. I'm content with that. I think my aim is to move uh, somewhere as like a middle house and then to move again to a bit more of a permanent residency. I'm going to move to some sort of middle house while I look for a better job. And then once I've got a better job, um, I will then look for... Um, a more permanent house, basically, where I'd be closer to that job. Whether that be the job that I'm going to be going into now, or whether that be uh, a job that changes me and maybe brings me to another place, I don't know. But we're going to sort of see where we can get at to, uh, and just go from there, really. So that's the, that's the plan for sort of life in the future. I don't like to plan too far ahead. My main plans right now are a couple moves, get myself situated. Nothing major. I'd like to see this channel maybe hit a hundred subs within a year. I think that's fairly reasonable. I think even if we said within the six months that are left of this year, because realistically what, six months, uh, I do four videos a month at right now. So that's what, 12, 24 videos. Damn. Uh, 24 videos this year. I would like to hope that I could get another, I think, 
66 subs. So we'll see. But that's where we're at. We're not trying to aim for big things. We're trying to aim for little steps. Little steps will take us far. Um, and yeah, that's sort of where I am, really. I don't think there's a huge amount to talk about for me. I'm impressed that I've made it to the 20 minute mark, if I'm honest. I really thought when I first went into this, it was going to be five minutes of this is what I did in my life. This is where I am now. And that was going to be it. Like, there's not a huge amount more I can say, really. Like, I've got... I've got my my medal. So this comes from, this is bronze place for the UK. Uh, when I competed in the national finals, wait this way. When I competed in the national finals for robotics, so in 2018. So I think I did the regional finals in 2017 and I came first place in London. Uh, I then went on to do the nationals where I came third place in the UK. Which I don't think is bad. I competed in robotics. I produced it with a teammate. Uh, he watches these videos on occasion. Hello. Hello, Kieran. Uh, we both competed. We made, uh, like, together. Uh, we made a... The, the task was a line-following robot. It was a very interesting design. Uh, it fell apart a lot. It wasn't very well made in the end. Um, so I'm not mad at bronze. Uh, there was... It was rife that year, though. I tell you what. There was, there was some cheating going on. But um, it was all it was all sorted out in the end. Not by me. Never a cheat. But um, yeah, it was good fun. It was a really good experience. And then I've got my certificate here to say, hey, you did the robotics, which is really cool. Um, nobody I've spoken to put theirs in a frame except me. So that's cool. I feel weird now. But I like it in a frame. It's a nice frame as well. It's, uh, it's pretty thick. It sits currently... On my well it's on my keyboard right now because I'm not putting it back properly but um, it sits on my little I've got a shelf I've got a shelf there which is where it sits um, what else can I say not really much really I think that was the main points there about me I'm just a very much a, a very normal person besides uh, posting stuff about myself on the internet every week I think that's the probably the only abnormal thing but I think it's becoming more and more common. With TikTok and stuff, most people post something. Um, but for now, that's sort of me. I, oh, the main thing about me. I want a dog. I want a dog so, 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 so badly. But I want an English bulldog. Which is why I have Bruce here. My boy Bruce. If we can. My boy Bruce. He's a very cute. He's a full-size replica of an English bulldog. He isn't real. Most people get very scared of him when they come into the house. But he is, in fact, a fake bulldog. Um, but I really want one. But the puppies are mad expensive. So if this could, this video could really just, like, straight to the moon, um, that would be great. Because then I could afford a English bulldog puppy. And then I could afford everything that I need for the, bu for the puppy. Um, so, if, yeah, if just all of you share this 90,000 times. And then for each 90,000... I get 30,000 views. We're looking good. We're definitely monetized at that point. We're doing great. Um, I do need to start thinking about maybe ways to advertise a little bit because it would be nice to push myself out there a little bit more. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping we can we can grow at a good rate um, and get some real consistent views in. Currently, I'd say we're fairly consistent anyway. Um, I just want that consistency to go up a little bit now. Um, because we were fairly consistent back in, what is this? Back in 2020, we were fairly consistent. We were running about like 20 views, maybe around 20-ish on average. Uh, some of them, to be fair, we were running around 30 early times, uh, when I first started uploading, but now we're about 20. Um, so we've had a bit of a dip, but that's not the worst. Um, and now we're about 10, which again, not the worst, but it would be nice to see that ramp up slowly again. Back to even if we were consistently doing 30, I'd be very happy with a consistent 30. Um, but yeah, that's sort of me, really. I'm a English bulldog loving robotics engineer who is here telling you random stuff on a weekly basis. Uh, and I'm going to probably end it a little early. I know we normally do half an hour. I think it's about 25 minutes right now that we're in. Um, but we're going to call it there. And I will see you guys next week. 
Have a wonderful week, uh, and I hope it's all as sunny for you where you are. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you very much. Bye.